Hi, Tim Skell here, ABB HVAC Application Engineering, and today we're going to talk about an ACH 580 and what to do if you see this start interlock 1, or perhaps you're seeing the very top of the screen where it says warning, alpha, frank, echo, echo. What should we do? Well, the answer depends on which boat you're in. Are you the guy who is watching this video right now because you're starting up an ACH 580 for the first time, you're just trying to get this thing running, and you can't just get this darn start interlock one message off the screen. So there's one answer for you. Or are you the tech who's stumbling upon this drive because somebody's complaining about it being too warm or too hot, had been running for years, and also now you got this message, you need some direction on what to do. So let's talk about what is going on here with the start interlock one message. So I'm gonna start out with talking to the person who's starting up a drive for the first time and they're getting this message. The ACH 580 by factory default settings assumes that there's going to be a safety wired on the digital input four on the drive. So what's happening right now is digital input four is open. So my first question to you is, should there be a safety landed there? If the answer is yes, well then check to see is the safety landed there? And then the other part is, is the safety satisfied? If the answer is no, there should not be a safety there, and you just need to make this alarm go away because there is no safety for the drive to be concerned about, you got a couple options. One old school approach is folks would just put a jumper there on digital input four to make it go high. Uh, I don't like that approach. I'd rather just simply turn it off in the parameter. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hide that alarm. I'm gonna come into here, menu, primary settings, and a couple of ways I can get to this, I'm just gonna use the HVAC quick setup. And I'm gonna scroll down here and I have the option, it says use safety start interlock one. So if you tell me there's no safety wired to the drive, the drive doesn't need to be looking at this digital input four over here. All I need to do is go ahead and unselect that. And you will see in a moment that my flashing green light just disappeared because that alarm is no longer there. So if I needed to, I could go ahead and run my drive right now. So your scenario number one, let me stop it again. And let me turn this functionality back on. So I'm gonna come back in here, and I'm gonna check that box again. So I'm back, got the start interlock one message again. Now I'm talking to the person where this has been running for years, and all of a sudden you come across the drive and you've got this message, and it's supposed to be running, but it's not running. If it had been running in the past, there's a very good chance that there truly is a safety wired into digital input four. Maybe that's a high static cutout on your air handler. Maybe if you're on a cooling tower, maybe it's your vibration switch. Uh, maybe another air handler safety could be smoke in your return air, or it could be your fire stat, so it's sensing too high of temperature. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can be used for safeties in the HVAC industry, and start interlock one is that safety. So. If you've got, this thing has been running for fine in the past, and now the safety opens up and you've got this message, don't do what I just showed the other guy what to do. You, There's a reason it's not running. Your safety has told the drive that it is not safe to run. So what you need to do is now start your troubleshooting and figuring out why is that safety open. So that's uh, your, your next step. Uh, what you can do kind of troubleshooting tricks within the drive is I'm gonna back out here and I am gonna back out one more option and I'm gonna to go to this IO menu. And I can see on digital input four, which is my start interlock, the drive has a zero there, meaning it does not see the safety there. So as part of your troubleshooting, you start looking and all of a sudden you see a loose wire that you take care of. Suddenly this goes to a one because you took care of that, that loose wire my flashing green light is now solid. Everything is good to go. I can go ahead and run my equipment because I figured out what was up. It was a loose wire at my safety. But again, if it's been running for a long time and you get that start interlock one message, do not just disable that function on DI4. Start troubleshooting, figuring out why that safety is not allowing the drive to run. But if you're the first time seeing this fault when you're this morning, excuse me, when you're setting up the drive during a commissioning, just trying to get that shaft running and you're seeing it, then you might be able to turn off your DI4 if you have no safety there.
So there you have it. Everything you need to know about the start interlock one message. I would say from a tech support aspect at ABB at our factory, that is probably our most common call. So uh, I think the tech support boy should uh, owe me a few beers after doing this recording and helping you guys out as you found this video. If you have any other questions, oh, feel free to reach out to ABB tech support, ABB application engineering, or even better yet, your local HVAC representative who's got some great local support technicians. Thank you.